So uh, that ground material, it's all AI generated. Let's, uh, let's go have a look. So there's been a new update with High Poly. They've revamped the website, revamped the algorithms, revamped stuff. Let's have a look. So all these textures down here are all AI generated. How sick is that? Let's go ahead and make something. So back to the top, explore the new poly editor. If you want to do a quick generation, there we go, just type something in. Let's jump over here though and make one custom. So I want to create some sort of sci-fi panels. Let's just go sci-fi panels that are grungy, grungy. Square panels that are overlapping themselves. The color is a light gray with a tinge. <laughs> Let's not do tinge. With a touch of blue and red panels. So now we've also got the option to seed an image in. Yeah, right. And I'm going to use this one as my reference. Let's click and drag that puppy in. Nice. Now that texture there is available on Patreon. So go check that out. Um, let's go generate patches and see what comes out. So we've generated our image. Not exactly what I'm after, but this is the beauty of it. I can refine it. Actually, I don't mind that one. Maybe we go square and rectangle. That's nice, but rectangle. It's getting there. I think maybe the red and blue panels are stuffing it up. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better now. So I added in Star Destroyer. I removed the colors. I am a fan of this one up here. It's not too bad. But I am liking that one. That one's a little bit too cartoon cartoony. Let's try realistic. So we're sitting on realistic, small painted, small spaceship panels that are grungy, square and rectangle panels that are overlapping themselves, star destroyed, crisp edge, scratches, painted metal. There's a lot of repeating in there. Idiot. Anyway, I'm going to select this top right one. I really like how that is looking. So let's go select from here. Click on the band aid to make seamless patch. I'm going to make it a probably about, yeah, about a, mm, 94% let's go make seamless cool beans it's looking looking pretty good so from here I'm going to jump over into upscale texture and we can upscale it to 2k so let's do that excelente then we can jump over into make PBR maps um, from here I am thinking I might make them I was thinking matte but it could be over uh, general because if we're kind of basing it off a Star Destroyer texture, now funnily enough, it wasn't painted metal on the original Star Destroyers because they were made from plastic. So it's actually painted plastic. So I think I might just stick with general and I will have a metalness one. Let's go generate PBR map. And uh, this is the finished PBR map. Let's, uh, let's download that puppy. So I'm gonna go downloads. Um, EXR, sure. The two options are JPEG and EXR at the moment. Let's go export zip. zip. Now let's jump back into Blender. What I'm going to do is remove all my materials. Let's add a new material uh, over into shading. New material with the Node Wrangler add-on enabled. Control Shift T. And I'm going to pick all the ones that I need. There we go. Apparently our principal texture is set up. And uh, without any changes to the textures, I mean, that's pff, that's pretty good off the bat. That is just the textures. And all I've done is a tab into edit mode, select all, U, a cubic projection is all I've done on this ship. And uh, that, pff, that's actually that's, uh, that's, uh, not too bad. So, I mean, that's, I'm fairly chuffed with that. Uh, so we now have an AI generated hull texture. We've got an AI generated ground texture all done with with poly with 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 <laughs> So go check out the website if you like videos like this. Hey, leave a like let me know What do you think of these textures? What do you reckon I should have put in? I'll probably put the texture up on patreon. So go check that out and uh, yeah till next time